Good morning guys, my name is Japrakash Patak and very very warm welcome to this video. I hope so your day is right now going on great. By the way, what we are going to do in this video? In this video, actually we are going to learn about SVG. So let me actually move myself a little bit in the corner. Yeah. So right now you can see this, this, this is an MDN web document and this talks about paths by the way svg in itself is a very large topic which we'll be eventually covering so if you want to see a full series on svg definitely subscribe the channel i'm really near to 1000 subscriber if I'm, I'm excited if you are also just subscribe the channel okay so right now as of now like right we'll be covering only the path section of svg which i feel is one of the most fascinating section of svg okay so by the way you can draw circle rectangle there are a lot of other things okay but i think path is one of the core thing which gives the svg its power by the way what is svg svg stands for scalable vector graphics and actually in simple terms these are the images which will not crack or which will not pixel it even if you zoom them as much as you can because they have some defined shapes okay so now moving forward let's get started so here here it starts it says S the path element is the most powerful element of SVG library. As I have said, this is one of the most powerful element. The reason is that you can draw anything with path. Okay. So you can just go with all these things. We'll directly start with, uh, with the example. First of all, line commands. So how does this line command work and how you can actually draw anything? I'll show. Uh, let's open code sandbox. Uh, we'll be coding on code sandbox right now reason i don't know <laughs> i don't know uh which one should we pick um <laughs> create sandbox and let's go to javascript one i think this is the one which we need i think so okay here, here the next year. Yeah. So now here I just want to you to think by the way here in India it is Diwali so you might you might hear some cracker cracking so please please bear with me on that okay so moving forward uh, what is it uh, first of all let's actually expand this okay so uh, first of all let's actually start by creating an SVG so we'll remove everything we do not need anything else so uh, how do you create an SVG? First thing is you create an SVG tag, okay, and you end that. Inside this SVG, you can define any any SVG element, okay. So if you go to the documentation, you will see that there is an SVG main parent element. Inside that, they have defined path and circle. That the reason is that this path and circle belongs to an SVG, and this collectively makes an image which you actually want to make. So. Uh, so today as we are covering path only so we'll be we'll be only uh, learning about path by the way there are a few like as you see the, these attributes are quite necessary if you want to like uh, make your svg visible so first of all let's make let's give it some width okay so uh, the width we'll be giving is let's say 500 height also uh, uh, we'll be giving it 500 so 500 as width 500 as height and that's all next let's create a path element and path is like a single line element okay so it is not a multiple line element you don't need to give a closing tag for this and there are few properties which i want to give so there will be a stroke okay the stroke will be uh, black okay there will be a fill fill will be transparent okay and now the most important part of this path is the the d which is the path okay so you specify d like this and what is d d is actually the path at which you want to draw so if you if i just go over here you will see this this has a d right and this has a, a like a lot of a lot of different uh, different commands so right now you can see this m x y and so we'll be going through each of these commands one by one to understand how does this work. So let's actually start. First of all, the first command is move. So which is capital M, you can just write capital or small doesn't matter. And then just give X, Y. So it's like 10, 10. So this will, whenever, wherever this SVG is, 
this will start our cursor from 10 10 like it's like you'll start drawing from 10 10 okay and let's let's think like now you need, need a line okay so if you if you go over here you go over here okay so this this is a line right so this is a line okay uh so a line so let's say in the x you want to be 100 in the y you want to be 10 right so you will instantly see there is a line over here i hope so you can see by the way yeah you can see this so there's a line over here you can see svg right so so this is because we just told it to move 10 10 which is over here and then we told this svg element to go to uh, draw a line till 110 which is like if you think about x x y this is x this is x and this is y so it's x is 100 so it is like 100 pixel up far from the x axis and 10 pixel far from the y axis so it's like this so if you know in computers generally x and y coordinates start from the top top uh, left side and it goes like uh, this is the full x axis this is the full y axis so i think you are getting the gist of what i'm trying to explain let's say you, we want to grow like we want actually to draw a square so now you can do that okay so how how can how will you do that so we have moved to 10 10 we have drawn a line till like uh, 110 which is like over here now we actually want to draw the same length over here so how will you do that so the uh, there will be a line there will be of course you can give smaller as well you can give a line so this the y will be 100 but uh, wait the x will be 100 itself and this will also be 100 so you can see like that right by the way this should be 90 because we already are like 10 from there if i get the point this this 10 plus this 90 is 100 okay now we have to move back to where we were i mean over here okay so this will be uh now there is a line from line to 10 10 no this is wrong line to 10 uh 10 100 okay 1090 okay and let's say you want to go back to where we were so let's give a line uh line to 10 10 right so you can see we have drawn a simple square using this only two command which is move command and line command so if i could just give you a small gist of what i'm trying to do it is like uh, it is like the uh, move command actually moves the cursor to a xy position whichever xy position you which you want next thing is the uh, the line command uh, the line command draws a line to a x and y okay so this line command actually draws a line to a particular x and y coordinate which you actually wish to draw a line to right so this is how we actually draw like we we have drawn a square right by the way uh moving forward this is how line command works okay so you can just move forward and draw the line command i mean draw draw a shape with a right command just draw anything which you wish and just uh, just send me on maybe instagram uh, with line command and now we'll be moving forward now this is not all by the way you can do a lot more through this okay so uh here you can see like this is this is uh this is how it works by the way uh, there is one more thing if you if you just go through a documentation like uh blind command there's move x x and y which we have already learned so this is there then we have line to x and y we have that also we have already covered then there will be there's an horizontal line and a vertical line so this is just a simpler version of what we were doing so if we just go here we can actually like if we just remove to here till here i mean move 10 10 we can say a horizontal line to 100 so this is this will be the same thing right uh, a vertical line to 100 okay or 90 so this is a simpler version and then horizontal line to minus uh, uh, 90 okay or nine minus 80 okay uh, right right see right and uh let's say uh then a vertical line to 10 we have drawn a square using using all the vertical and horizontal lines uh, command as well so the after move we have learned uh we have learned 
the L which is line command and after that we have two more command which is H which is horizontal line okay uh, and uh, and we have learned uh, vertical V which is vertical line command okay so four commands M is for move L is for line H is for horizontal line or V is for vertical line Moving forward, we know horizontal, vertical, that's great. Now there is a Z. Z is like a closing line, okay? The closing line is like, let's say you, you, are, you, you are here and Z doesn't take a parameter. If you see, there is no parameter at Z. The reason is, I'll just give you an example how this works. So let's say, let's say we were here, right? So we were here, something like that, right? We were here. And you just want to trace this, the, whichever the last location is to the beginning location, to the starting location. How will you do that? Simply write a Z over there and that is done. That, that, you know, that path is actually ending to wherever you want, right? So it, it actually traces here, here and wherever you want. By the way, if you're thinking, of course, this is like I have given transparent, you can definitely fill it. So you can write red or green or whatever you want over here. So I just want like, for now, I think for the tutorial purposes, transparent makes like the most sense. Okay. So uh, this is how like this Z command works. So if we just conclude Z command moves, moves it to the beginning. I don't know. I'm not sure my beginning spelling is correct or not. B E G double G I double N. No. What is the spelling of beginning? Okay. You can correct it. <laughs> I'm very bad with spelling. If you want my, if you watch my videos, you already know that. So that's funny. So uh, yeah, this 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 is this is the V command. Okay. Moving forward, we have I think we have covered all almost all the uh, all the commands for the line. So now you can draw any sort of line using SVG. We'll be going to curve command. Now, if you see, there are like two types of curve which has been explained over here. One is Benzier curve, I think, and the second is arcs, right? So first of all, we'll be covering about Benzier curve. So if you're thinking what is Benzier curve and how does it work? So I think this picture, this picture explains it very well, very well. Okay. Benzier curve simply has two command points. Okay. So if I could show you, how could I show you? Okay. So first of all, let me actually give you the syntax and then I, after I will try to explain how Benzier curves actually works and how you can draw it. Okay. So this is one curve, but before covering this, Curve weight. Okay. By the way, we will not be covering arcs in this video because that itself is a very large topic. We can cover it in some other video. But as of now, we'll definitely be going through the Benzier curve and we'll be learning about how does this work and how we can draw this in our application. Okay. So yeah. So the Benzier curve command works with C, which is curve, right? And then X1 and X2, which is the first control point, which is the first from where you want to pull that line. Okay. This is the second. If you're not understanding, what do I mean by pull that line? I'll, I'll just do it and you'll understand it. So wait, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no songs, no songs. Only tutorial. Yeah. So curve. Uh, so this is like X1, Y1, which is like the first control point, then y, X2, Y2, which is the second control point, and finally X and a Y, which is the location to which where you want to draw the curve. So let's try it out. Well, let's do it in the editor, then I think it will be much more clear. Okay. So let's say uh, I just want to remove this all. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to give curve the first control point. Let's say I want to give a little bit like a uh, like something like 20 10 which is like a bit further like a bit further next thing is the next control point next control point is actually what is the next control point uh so first one is here okay second one let's give it anywhere let's give like uh, uh control point let's give like oh sorry uh 40 100 and let's give final x y location so let's give it like x will be 200 and y will be 10. so you can see there is the curve could you see that if you didn't understand how this work is actually the first we have given like very much near like over here really so if you just increase it instead of uh, 40 
like let it be 10 no uh, let let's increase to like something like 100 and see what does happen you can see this is a curve right and how is this working first of all let's understand that so if i could draw somewhere online we whiteboard uh, there will be some whiteboard I'm, I'm, I'm sure i'm pretty sure yeah so so this is the whiteboard okay okay so first of all i would like to you to think how benzier curve works so first of all just imagine a line right a simple line right let's let's say okay and if you 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 basically the the this is the beginning from where you actually start and this is the xy which we define at the end so this xy i mean uh this xy which you are, you are defining is of this location which is the last end location right and the two control points are like if let's say you specify over here this this line will bend towards this line okay and let's say the second point you have defined over here so it will bend towards this you're getting the point and the final curve which you'll be getting is something like this 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 is the curve which you'll be getting this is how benzier curve works. let's try to draw a curve like this and we'll show you how then it will be very much clear how does it work so just to do that uh, we'll have to move a little bit down so that we have a control point above so uh, let's move to by the way small or capital doesn't matter okay so uh, the x will be 10 the y will be 200 okay then we'll draw a curve the first control point will be at uh, uh, 100 uh, above, like 100 in the x and 10 in the y which is above the second control point will be very much below like it will be uh, okay let's let's make it 50 50 okay then uh, the second control point will be at 100 from the x and 100 from the y which is like over here which is at like below and, the, and then the xy which is like uh, which is like uh, it is that 200 level right so let's call it like 300 200 okay this is exactly what we <laughs> what we did not intend to make we wanted to make something like this something like this yeah let's try again let's try again we failed this time we have specified the wrong coordinates okay let's try so move to uh move to 10 200 yeah okay. wait 200 is y right okay so we are here right now i mean here now the first control point we want over here so let's say it's like 100 pixel in the x direction and 10 so let's call it like uh 110 which is over here that's correct okay i mean this will be a curve so 110 then we want if this is 100 this should be 200 right right and so this will be 200 x and the y will be 400 because if this is this is let's say we are going to 100 right so 300 300 300 300 this will be 300 okay so this will be below right then we need to go like in the same uh, like here we have 10 200 so let's move, move like to uh, uh i mean 400 10. yeah finally we did it it's not exactly what we want i i know i know it's not exactly what we want but you guys can try okay try to draw a curve like this okay and dm me in the instagram my instagram handle will be in the description below so you can definitely message me there you can also message me in the comment section below so if you have any doubt feel free to comment comment down below and i hope so you enjoyed this tutorial have a great day happy diwali if you're in india and bye bye